everybody. Uh, this is Krista. I'm actually filming in my backyard by one of my favorite spots that my husband made, this beautiful pond. And I decided today, something a little different, a short flow, I'm going to do a seated Pilates chair flow. Okay? So what I'm using today, I have two lightweights, two threes, these are threes. And I also have a Pilates ring, which you can get on Amazon. Um, and then I have a yoga block, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use yet. This chair is a little lower, so my feet are nice and comfortable on the floor. So we're going to start like we typically would with a Pilates class. We're going to breathe in through our nose, purse your lips, and breathe out forcefully through your mouth. Cinching your um, abdomen inward. You want to feel that belly come in. Take another deep breath in. Purse your lips, force out the air, and feel that those inner abdominals really contract. We're gonna start with a roll down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, roll forward. My feet are firmly on the ground. Shake your head out and then roll your shoulders up and back. Take a deep breath in. Spread your fingers, roll forward. Shake your head out. Restack your spine and take a deep breath in again. Do two more like that. Roll forward like you're diving over something and then slowly roll back up, shoulders back one more time. Deep breath in, roll forward, and then roll up, shoulders back. Take a lateral stretch, and then another side stretch. Two more, make sure your palm faces the direction it's going in, and one more. Now with Pilates, we do a lot of core work. So we're gonna start with a seated 100. I'm gonna lift up my right leg, holding my knee up, it's a tabletop, pressing my arms down, and little presses, inhale, two, three, exhale, two, sit up nice and tall on your six bones. Now, if you wanna progress, you can extend that leg, inhale, two, three. If that's too high, lower your angle, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, shoulders back, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, changing legs, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, Bend two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four. Last ten. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight. Roll your shoulders back. I'm gonna grab my ring. I'm gonna just do what's called rolling like a ball. I'll sit here, you can see it on the side as well. I'm gonna sit at the edge of my chair. My arms are here. If you don't have a ring, that's okay too. You can even hold the ball. Take a deep breath in, and then I want you to exhale. Squeeze the ring, draw your knee up. Same side, right leg. And come up. And curl. Light squeeze on the ring. Fingers are loose. Three more. Two more. One more. Switch sides. Exhale as the leg comes up. Restacking the spine. Working on that posture. Your breathing, I usually say, is on the harder part. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale as you come down. Give me two more like that. One more. Take a little breather for your arms. We're going to add a rotation on that. So before we start adding the knees, arms are here. I want you to take your ring and I want you to squeeze it as hard as you can and then never do that again. That's what I call a 10. We want to squeeze to about a five, okay? And then I'll activate our lats. So my feet are hip distance apart. I'm at the edge of my chair. I'm gonna add a little rotation first. Take a deep breath in, exhale, squeeze the ring, come center. Exhale, squeeze the ring, come center. As I'm squeezing my ring, my shoulders are depressing downward. Four. Don't forget to breathe. Sit up nice and tall. Don't dump into the lower back. One more time, holding little presses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. Reach your arms to the sky and roll forward. Give your back a little breather. And roll up, arms bend in, reach up. Roll forward. Draw your belly and bend your elbows and reach to the sky one more time. Roll forward, come up, and hold. Relax the shoulders down, 
Fingers square, elbows wide. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, twist left and center. Twist left and center. Six more. Twist that spine. Inhale to return. Light pressure on the ring. One more time. Hold, little presses. Eight, seven. Now my hips are totally facing you, but I'm squaring off my body. In four, in three, in two, in one. Woo! Roll the shoulders, take a deep breath in. Bringing your legs a little together, we're gonna do that same thing we did before with a rotation now, that our spine is warm. Arms are in a high diagonal. I'm gonna lift my left leg up, squeeze. Now if you can't do that, then just keep the leg down, which is fine. If it bothers you back, lengthen, adding a little abdominal strength. Like you're rowing. Four. And up. Three. And up. Two. And up one more time. Other side. Row. Make sure you're squeezing inward on the ring. Exhaling as you twist. Three more. Two more. Final one. Relax. Woo. Come onto your chair and just sit. Take your foot. Now I have my sneaker on. You could do this with sneakers on or off. I'm going to keep my sneakers on. I just did a 40 minute walk. Take a deep breath in and we'll do a little footwork. So I just want you to press your foot into the ring. Now, if you don't have a ring, use a, um, a towel, okay, a tie, anything like that. A yoga strap if you have that. It doesn't matter. Four, three, two, hold, little presses, eight, seven, sit up tall, six, my back is not against my chair, five, four, three, two, one, come down, shake that out. So then just moving through that ankle joint, your calf, bring your foot up, now remember, I have my leg up at a high angle, not everyone's going to do that, and I'm going to show you from this angle, so if you need to come down a little lower, that's okay, we work where we can, we sit up tall, and we press and flex. Press, really point your toe and flex your toe. Keep your back as straight as you can. Don't dump into your lower back. Four more, three more. Notice I'm giving your arms a break because we're gonna do an arm series next. Two, and now fast pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down. Good. Reach your ring to the side. Now, if you don't have weights, you can use little soup cans or something like that. I only have threes. Now I'm sitting at the edge of my chair again. My arms are down. Do some quick little arm work. Roll your shoulders back. Make sure your clavicles are nice and wide. Just bring your arms up the lateral raises. You don't want to bring your arms up too high, only to about the width of your shoulders. You can also modify by bending the elbows if you have any tension in your shoulders. We're going to do two sets of eight for each arm exercise. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Let's add the leg, right. I'm at the edge of my chair. You don't have to do the knee lift if you're not ready for it. So each second set, we'll add a little knee lift. Three, two, one more time. Bring your arms down. Take your head to the side, rest that your neck. Sometimes that takes a little taxing on the neck. Bring your head center, inhale. And then exhale, draw it to the other side, and hold. We stack. Now we're going to work the front of our shoulders. We're going to bring it up, and we're going to bring it down. Up and down. Up. You can always work one arm at a time, too, especially if you have an injury. Four and down. I'm sitting up tall. My belly is in. Three and down. Two, we're gonna add on the next one. Let's add that right leg lift. So it's right and down, left and down. Feel those lower abs kick as those knees come up. And down, three and down, two. Give me one more. Take a breather, head to the side. Roll center, stretch out your neck. Roll to the other side. Now roll the shoulders. 
hold your arms right here. We're gonna do a chest squat. So we're gonna bring our arms together, press out. I'm gonna keep my arms right above my chest. I'm gonna inhale here, I'm gonna exhale out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Give me two more and you know what's coming next. Our knee lifts. Inhale and exhale. Now, are you ready? One. Purse your lips, squeeze all the air up. It's a little crunch. Four more. Three more. You should be feeling your arms right now. Two. One, bring it all the way down. Woo! Those are, those are kind of tiring, even with the threes, I'm gonna say. And then bring it center. Rest your neck. And then other side. Reach down, roll your shoulders up and back, chest press. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Push and back. Elbows wide. Two, back. Now if you watch, I'm trying to keep that mid-row position. Four, three. If you get tired, you can do one arm at a time. Two, one. Are you ready? At the right leg. Right and in. Left and in. Keep your back straight. Exhale. Four, three. You can do it. Two, give me one more. Woo! Bring it down. Oh, feeling those shoulders and the chest. Bring your head to the right. Take your stretch. Enjoy it. Try to chin down. Draw your chin to the other side. And center. Roll your shoulders. A little external rotation for the back of the shoulders and mid back. Take a deep breath in. Glue your elbows to your side. Press out and in. Press out and in. Press out and in. See, this workout could be really for anyone, especially if you're, you know, not great at standing, you have balance issues, you just kept getting into working out, like some of my friends. Three, who shall be nameless. Two, one more time. Add the legs, ready? Eight, sit up tall. Seven, flex your foot as the leg comes up. Exhale, with good knit back muscles. Last. Give me two more. I lost count, sorry. One more. Rest. Ooh, let's get a little roll down in there. Ready? Shake your head out. Roll up slowly. Oh, let's do that three more times. Roll down. We have two more arm exercises. Actually, a couple more. Maybe three. Two more. And roll up. Oh, this one, I'm going to hold down there. Let's hold down here and hold. Now lift your chest up. We're gonna do a low row here. So we're gonna press back and in. Squeeze your legs together. And three. And four. Exhale. Six. Seven. You know what's coming, right? Right leg. Up. Up. Lift the knee up. Use your lower abdominals to draw that knee in. Four, three, two, one more time. And rest, roll all the way up. Take a breather, restack your spine. Now, hi guys, hi Jesse. Take your head to the right. And center, and head to the left. Center. and then bring your arms to the side. Take a nice deep breath in, little bicep curls, and in and out, in and out, in and out. Four, keep your body as straight as you can. Exhale at the top. Let's add the legs. One, two, Three, you don't have to add them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Head to the side. My daughter's making fun of me because her boyfriend just came by. Oh well, what are you gonna do? All right, so we're gonna do um, an overhead tricep now. So we're gonna bring our arms over our head. We're almost done with our arm section. Bring it up. Bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. As you bring your arms up, we exhale. Three, four, 
three more. Two. One. Let's go. Add the right leg kick. And kick. And kick. Little leg variation. Four. Three. Two. Give me one more. Relax all the way down. Here is our final, final arm movement. Bring your legs into what I call a sumo squat. We're gonna cross our arms like this. Keep your head above your heart and we lift up like an upright row. Make sure you're really pushing your feet into the ground. Four, three, squeeze at the top. You have eight more. Obviously we're not lifting the legs because we'll go flying. <laughs> Two, squeeze those arms. Three, squeeze those arms. Four, five, six, only two more, you got this, and we're done with the arms. Last one, woo! If you have a drink, get a drink. I don't have my water with me, shake out. I'm gonna add, while you're getting a drink, I'm just gonna add a stretch. Reach up to the sky, add a little stretch to the back of the chair. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach up to the sky. Other side. Breathe in. Breathe out. So now I'm going to give your arms a break, but not your legs. So I'm going to go back to my ring now. I'm going to do a little inner thigh work. I'm going to place the ring, and you can use your ball too. You can use a yoga block if you have it. Okay? My legs are in parallel for now. Take a deep breath in. Roll your shoulders back. I want you to squeeze. Remember, you're pursing your lips, breathing everything out. Kind of like, I want you to imagine that your bladder is full and someone's gonna come there and punch your bladder and you don't want, you don't want to pee on yourself. It's a little Kegel, I call it. Kind of moving the pelvic floor up, those muscles in our pelvic region. So we squeeze, we squeeze, we squeeze. I'm gonna make this harder. Arms behind your head, eight, seven. My fingertips are right on my skull, my elbows are wide. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, and we twist and center. Just twist your upper body. Just twist your upper body. We squeeze, we twist. We squeeze, we twist. We squeeze. You should be feeling those inner thighs. You have eight more and you will do it. Seven, six. Just the upper body rotates. Five, four, three. I'm hoping my take doesn't run out. Two, because I cleaned up a lot of space on my camera. Camera. Oh my God, I'm going old school. Let's hold this last one. This one, eight, seven. Keep that arm moving. Five, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. And three, and two, and one. Woo oh my goodness. I'm actually gonna feel that tomorrow. Ah, shake that out. Cause we gotta do that on the other side. <laughs> Holy inner thigh burn, Batman. Did I just say Batman? I don't know why I just said that. Arms roll back, hold, squeeze for eight. Seven. Don't forget to breathe. Pelvic floor lifts as you squeeze. I'm holding the bottom of my chair, so I have a lot of length in my arms. My clavicles are really open. Four, three, two, one. My hands are back. Eight, seven, six. You will definitely feel this tomorrow. Five. Take any breathers you need. Four, three, two. Hold it. We're going to add the twist. So we twist and turn. Don't you lose your ring. Think about upper body twisting. That has to keep you honest with that ring. Squeeze and sit. Squeeze and sit. Squeeze. The ring doesn't move with you. Just it moves inward. Three. Get your elbow back. Two. Nice and tall. Hold the last one. Squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Oh my goodness. Shake that out. Woo, let's get a stretch on that one. Ring comes down. Open your legs wide. We gotta really stretch that out. Take your hands on your thighs, take your right shoulder and pull into that. Woo, nice stretch. From center, left elbow comes over, stretch it out. From center now. We're gonna do a nice other, more stretching, but we're gonna shimmy to the left of our chair. 
and bring your foot flat. So your foot's facing me. Arms out. Take a deep breath in. Add a lateral stretch there. Hold. Try to take this top arm, guys, and pull it back if you can. Breathe in, breathe out. So you're getting a nice inner thigh stretch here. Nice stretch to your side. And here comes my dog. Hopefully, he won't bother me. Hey, Allie. Good girl. And if you want more core work, reach your arm, hold it there. Keep lengthen this leg, guys. Lengthen. Reach for it. Pull that arm back. Four, three, two. Bring it out. Back. Take your hand to your chair. Give yourself a lateral stretch. Hold there. Pull your arm back more for me. See, I don't even need music because all I hear is my beautiful pond. And that's all I need. So if you're at home and you don't want to hear my voice because it is kind of annoying, you can just put some light, light music on in the background and hold. Now, take this leg, bring it behind you, and hold there. So now we're in our runner's lunge. There's my dog. Reach up. Pull back, a little yoga stretch, a little crescent lunge here. Hold, hold, hold. I always like to mix up yoga and Pilates together. I'm like a born fusion gal. Four, three, two, bring it down. We're gonna do a boat pose. We're gonna bring this leg in. See if you can reach your foot and give yourself a nice thigh stretch here. The further you can pull your leg back, the more you will feel this, but please don't feel you have to go that far. Some of you, this is challenging. I'm not even gonna do it. I was gonna say, you can lift your other arm, but I'm, like I said, it's kind of challenging and I don't wanna fall off my chair today. Four, three, two, and one. Come center, come to the center. Take your lateral stretch, left shoulder, stretch it out. Inhale, come up. Take the other side, stretch it out. Come up, shimmy over to the side. I might have to move my stuff. Now my right leg is coming out strong and straight. My left leg is bent. My arms are out wide. Spread your fingers, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, lengthen over. Pull your arm back. Feel that nice stretch. So I just did a 40 minute walk around my neighborhood so I can really use this. I don't know how good quality this is going to come out, but I figured it's, it's so beautiful out. Why not? Reach it up if you want. You don't have to. Pull it back more. You should be really feeling that inner thigh here. Pull, 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 pull. Four, three, two, come down, bring your arm down, get a counter stretch. Reach it up, palm faces down. I think my husband is possibly home right now because I hear the garage door opening. And then bring that leg in. Bring it behind you. I have to move my equipment. So I'm coming straight back. I'm lengthening up into my crescent lunge. I'm looking up at that beautiful sky. I'm holding. Shoulders back and down. I caught myself wearing my shoulders like my earrings. Keep pulling back as much as you can, feeling the length in your hip flexor. If you need to modify, bend your arms, it's fine. And then draw your back leg in. If you can, wherever you can grab, come into your bow pose here, hold it. Feeling the front thigh stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more breaths. Last breath. And center. Okay, so we're gonna do one standing sequence. I'm gonna come around to the back of my chair, like so. I'm gonna do some sideline work. So my heels are together and my toes are apart. So you can see me a little, I'm gonna show you how my feet are. So heels together, toes apart. I think I'll work at this angle so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. 
So I'm going to lift my leg out and I'm just gonna slowly just do some sideline series here. This is something we would typically do on the mat, lying down, but you can do it standing. Think nice and tall. My standing leg has got a micro bend to it. Five, four, three, two, and hold, little circles, eight. Now, how do you make this easier? You can bring your angle down a little lower, five, four, point your toe, three, two, hold, other way, eight, seven, six, five, abs tight, four, three, two, and bring it over. Cross your leg over, take a side stretch. Coming down. Now, we're gonna turn, I'm gonna modify, because the other exercise I was gonna do, it might be a little much. So I'm gonna hold here, I'm facing my chair. I'm gonna bring my hands onto my chair. I'm gonna step that same leg back, my right leg. And you can either hold here or come down. I think I'm gonna hold here because my chair is kinda low. I'm gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower. So coming into my little tiara best, good, lift, and lower, and I'm keeping my hips nice and square. Lift, eight more. Remember, everything's two sets of eight, so you always know when the madness will end. Five, squeeze the top. Four, three, two. Now hold it here, little pulses, eight. Now if this is too low, come up high and pulse from here. This is fine. You feel like you're getting winded, high blood pressure, keep the head above the heart. Five, Four, three, two, one, come in. Take your right leg across, sink down, so kind of like a little half pigeon pose stretch. Come up again. I'm gonna move my chair so you can see me. We'll do that whole flow on the other side. My hand is on the chair, I'm in my Pilates V. I'm gonna step my left leg out, hold, and I'm gonna lengthen and lift. Thinking about nice long length. 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 Don't forget to your breath. Exhale at the top. Inhale as you come down. If you want to like the other step harder, maybe the arm can go behind your head. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold there. Little circles. Little circles, try to stabilize your hips. Six, five, four, three, two, and other way. I know these are tough. Take a break if you need it. Five, four, point your toe. Three, two, one, cross. Oh, take a little side step. Same leg, Tierra best. You come down, you can either hold here or hold here. My heels are together, my toes are apart, my leg is extending out. I lift and I lower. I lift and I lower. Really activating the glute and the hamstring. Lift and lower. Lift. And if you're not ready for the standing sequence, you can kind of just stop the video where I start standing work up to it. Five. Four. Three more. I lost count. Two. I do that a lot. And let's hold this last one. Flex your foot. Pump for eight. Seven. Six. Five. My standing leg is slightly bent. I so micro bend it. I'm not locking it out. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Keep that left leg. Give it a cross, push down, come into your pigeon stretch, flex your foot, you'll feel it a little bit more. I'm gonna add a stretch in, and then we're gonna go into what I call my yoga pyramid stretch. So, I'm going to start with facing my chair, hands on the chair. Take my right leg back, my legs stay straight, don't bend your knees at all. And I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna hold. So my head's gonna go towards my chair. I'm just gonna hold here. And where I want you to feel this is the back of your leg. That's where your 
feeling it. Your hips are square. Think about drawing your right hip forward and your left hip back and just holding that. Keep your head above your heart. Close your eyes if you want. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your nose or your mouth, whatever you want. Just keep pushing that pressure onto your, like your chest is coming towards your thigh. If you want to make it a little harder, you can take your front foot and peel it up. Now you can really do it in the calf. Put it down. Extend your front knee. Woo! Shake that out. We're going to do that same thing on the other side. Extend your right leg back. Left leg is straight. Come into your hover, your hinge. Check that your front leg is straight. Pull your left hip in and your right hip back. Just close your eyes and breathe into that front leg. Take your front toes only if you want to. Lift them up. Pull them down. shake that out. We're going to do a little balance, adding a little yoga in this. So I'm going to take my left leg out. I'm going to bring my right arm up, uh, left arm up. Now if you want to try to practice, you can take your hand off the chair. Some of you might be able to lift up, and if you can't, that's okay too. Just think about getting this leg outward. Find a focal point. Two more breaths. And then shake that out. Take your opposite leg up. Hold. Hold with that a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Find the focal point. Spread your toes. Challenge. Maybe the arm comes up, but don't feel like you have to do that. As we age, our balance really, really starts to we start to lose that balance a lot. So it's really important we work on balance so we don't fall, create injuries. Two more breaths. And release. Oh. I'm gonna take come back to my chair one more time. Get some water. I know I probably forgot many times, but you can always pause this if you need to. Take a nice deep breath in, deep breath out. I want you to um, just sit back on your chair, take your right leg and move it across. And let's just do a nice little hip stretch here. Take a deep breath in, sit up tall, and then just exhale, come down. This is one of my favorite um, seated chair poses. Breathe in, breathe out. Try not to drop your head. You wanna keep your head even with your spine. Pull your belly button in. And really think about creating a little extra tension on your leg so you feel that. And you're nice and you're flexing your foot here as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Come up. Cross your leg. Reach your arms up hands to heart center. We're going to twist to the direction of our right leg. Place your left arm on your leg and just give a nice twist. I just like to add twists into my workouts. Good for the spine. Pressing your palms together as you exhale, you're just twisting. Listening to the owl, the water. Take that out. We're almost done. Take your left leg up. Flex. Come down nice and easy. Hold there. Remember, don't drop your head. Don't look up. I know sometimes you're looking up at me for the camera, but just be mindful that you're not, your head's not up the whole time. 
deep breath in through, and send that energy right through your outer hip. This is one of those poses I can stay in forever. One more breath. And slowly come up, cross your leg, reach your arms up. Hands to heart center. Take your body, twist to the left, in the direction of your left leg. Place your left um, arm on your thigh. That's what my hot part was. Pressing your palms together as you exhale, twist. Unwind that, come seated, roll your shoulders back, bring your arms up. Take your left arm and just give it a cross. Stretch out your arms, we did nice little arm work before. Pull your belly in, sit up really tall. And then to the other side. Maybe close your eyes. Listen to the water of my pond, I hope you can hear it as well as I can hear it. Take your arms out, reach your arms overhead. Bring your right arm down, give yourself a nice stretch, close your eyes. And lift your heart up, create a little space, like some like a little arch. And then reach your arms up again, one more stretch. I'm hoping I don't run out of tape, you're almost there. your arms up relax and just relax and you just roll your fingers your arms out and the other way forward and back side to side and then release down take your legs up roll your ankles roll them the other way four three Two, and relax them down. Ah, close your eyes. Sit comfortable onto your chair. And we'll just take a few breaths here. Make your breath really natural now. Just listen to the sound of the water running, trickling in the pond. Clear your mind. Part your lips. Release your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And if your legs are really like you have a lot of tension, maybe cross your legs, let your body just melt into the chair. You don't have to sit upright. Think about how much better you feel now as opposed to when you just started. A few more breaths. Releasing the shoulders away from your ears. Abdomen is soft. Shoulders are relaxed. No tension in your arms. No tension in your fingers. Just feel your belly rise and fall as you breathe. Feel a heaviness come into your hips, down your thighs, down your calves, right down to your toes. Let your whole body surrender into your chair. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, raise your gaze. Reach your arms up. Hands to heart center. And I hope you had a wonderful class with me. I certainly did. And I really like doing this outside. It's very relaxing.
So I'll see you guys next time. Work up to it. Do what you can. Take care.